Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking all about my favourite advent calendars of 2022. Now this is really difficult because I've got a lot of advent calendars this year, a lot more than last year and the year before and it's just so hard to decide. I've got a top five, I couldn't narrow it down anymore. Um, so I'm going to be sharing my top five advent calendars of 2022 as well as the calendar I was most surprised by and the calendar I was most disappointed by. So if you can guess what they are, comment down below before we get to that part in the video and then we'll see if you're right when we get there. So in total this year I've unboxed 27 Fusey advent calendars. 27. Now I actually purchased 24 of them. I was only gifted three of them in PR. That was the glossy box, look fantastic, and then Holland and Barrett. But the other ones I bought all myself. So none of those are sponsored, none of those are gifted. I bought all those and it costed me a lot of money. <laughs> now the advent calendars this year, I feel like they haven't all been as wow as last year. And I think a lot of people have been saying like last year's was better, especially for certain calendars. And a lot of them haven't sold out and they're actually discounted right now. Um, I think there's two reasons for that. One being the advent calendars seem to go on sale even earlier this year. Like everyone launched the calendars super, super early. It was like the start of October, all the way through October. And the last one that I've unboxed was the Harrods one, which was the start of November. But they're all out now. That's it, they're all here. <laughs> um, there will be the odd little one that still gets launched later, obviously, but the main ones, the ones I'm most interested in, are all done and dusted now. So I think because they've been so early, people have either bought them early or they haven't bought them and they've been waiting and now they're on sale. So yeah, you can obviously get them cheaper. I can see it is quite annoying for those of us who have bought the calendars at full price and now they're all discounted. But obviously for me, I've already unboxed mine, so I'm fine with that. Um, but obviously if you've not opened yours yet, if you're waiting for December, it is a bit annoying when you pay full price and they're now all very much discounted. Um, there were some calendars that I saw on TikTok that were discounted like massively, but they weren't discounted on the website at that point. Um, I, saw, I definitely saw the Glossy Box one on TikTok shop for £45 when it was still... I think they knocked a little bit of money off it on the Glossy Box website, but it wasn't as discounted as that at that point. So yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, and the other reason I think is obviously because this year it's just a little bit trickier and luxury advent calendars aren't on the top of people's lists or anywhere on the list to be honest. You know, it is a luxury getting a beauty advent calendar and when times are a little bit tougher, you know, not as many people will be buying them. So I think that's why they haven't sold out yet. Um, I don't know of any that have actually sold out yet. Usually Cult Beauty sells out in minutes and this time it's still available and they've knocked, I think it's, was it £15, £20 of it or something? Um, not a massive amount, but still knocked some money off it and it's still there, which just blows my mind. Um, but if you do buy that now, there's a gift with purchase available. Yeah, it's definitely, if you haven't bought one yet, I would definitely just wait for Black Friday now um, and just to see what other kind of offers they will have because if they're gonna be discounted even more, you might as well pay less. Just before we dive any further, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And also let me know your favourite calendar in the comments down below. So when it comes to favourite calendars, obviously everyone's tastes are different. So what I consider to be a really good calendar it might not be a good calendar for you because you like different products than I do or different products work better for you than they do for me. So it is just personal opinion. So if your favourite is the one that I hate, then that is absolutely fine, you know? And you might not like the one that I like. So it's all personal choice. It depends what products you like, what products work for you, what makeup you like. Stuff like that. So this isn't like the holy grail of these are the best calendars. These are just what I consider to be the best calendars for me this year. The calendars that I've enjoyed unboxing the most. The calendars where I've recognised so many of the products. I'm really excited to try some of the products inside. Oh, there's just really big size of the products that I actually love. So for me, that makes it like a really good calendar for me. Also value for money as well. I know a lot of the calendars this year were quite expensive. But when the value inside is way, way, way beyond what you're paying that gets a thumbs up from me, um, especially when there's full sizes of products that I would buy during the year. If I didn't buy the calendars, it just, it makes sense for me to get the calendars, get the full sizes, and then it saves me money in the long run. So like I said, it's been really difficult to choose which are the best this year. So yeah, I have a top five. The first one then, in no particular order. The first one is flannels. Like this is the first flannels I think calendar. They did have one last year, but it was available for pre-order and then it never actually went on sale. So I don't think they got enough orders. I'm not really sure what happened, but it never actually got shipped. So this year was the first one that actually got shipped. It's the first calendar. This one was £235 and it was worth over £800. Now, the reason I like this one is there was quite a few full sizes in it. 
There were some really, really good products and some that I was very excited to try. And even though I unboxed this quite early on in my advent calendar series, because I'd seen a few sneak peeks, I knew that there were quite a few products in here that weren't in other advent calendars. So there weren't many duplicates. And it's nice to try different brands and different products that you don't see in other boxes. Um, so I really like this one. I think it was a really good selection. I'll pop the picture back there so we can refer to it. Um, but yeah, we had a full size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. We bought some gorgeous eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. Um, some Swede lashes, not tried those before. Um, we had my BioEffect EGF serum, which I've already used. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that product. So although that's been in a couple this year, I love that. So I'm happy to see that in them. Um, we had the Medicaid uh, new, what's it called? Crystal Retinoate product, which I'm excited about. We had some 111 Skin, full size neon candle, gorgeous eyeshadow palette as well. Mine was slightly broken, um, but it's nothing that a bit of alcohol and pressing can't fix. So that's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. But yeah, I just thought that was a really good calendar. Some different products, some luxury products, and I was just generally excited about it. The actual calendar itself, the like the actual box, the outside of it, uh, wasn't the most exciting. The doors went in order, which it does take me a while to find the doors when they're not in order, but I quite like that. But when it's just, I don't know. Some people prefer that, that's fine, but you can move them around if you wanted to, which I probably would do if I actually was unboxing it in December. But yeah, I just thought this was a really nice calendar and it was just something a little bit different. So. Yeah, this was one of my top five this year. Decent saving. And this also had 20% off when they had the 20% off the whole website not long ago. So I'm guessing they might do something else like that for Black Friday if it's still in stock, which I'm guessing it will be. But yeah, I just thought it was so nice. Nice mix of makeup, some skincare, a little bit of hair care, and we had a couple of fragrances as well. So yeah, that was nice. I like that one. Okay, next then is Cult Beauty. Now this one for me is always one of my favourites. Um, I just really, really love this advent calendar. Every single year, it's fab. I don't think it was as good as last year's this year, but I think the amount of products we got inside, the range of products, the brands, I was just, I love it because I get to try so many products and then I might buy from Cult Beauty itself. Um, that was exactly the same price as the flannels advent calendar, so it was 235 pounds, but the value was over a thousand pounds. Um, and what I love about Cult Beauty as well is they do give back to the environment. So I think it was for every calendar they were planting a tree and they were also donating a certain amount of money to a charity. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I explained it in my unboxing video at the very start. Um, but it's just nice that they do that. Uh, I think there was also some golden tickets as well in there. Uh, there was 37 products as well, which is crazy. So you get way more products than in the flannels one, um, but 37 was just fab and 13 of them were full sizes. So not bad at all. So in the calendar, of course, we do see some repeats. There were some products that we've seen last year, some in other calendars, um, but I'm not too bothered about that because there's so many new ones as well for me. Um, for example, we've got the Zellens product, we've got the Pharmacy Honey Halo, we've got a Joe Loves candle, which was so exciting. Uh, Youth to the People, very excited about that one. Um, we had the Bomb Deer Bright Cream. So usually we get the Bum Bum Cream and everything. So this was the Bomb Deer Bright Cream. So a little bit different. I haven't seen that in any other calendar this year. We had the Flora Elasti one in the Sephora one. But everywhere else it's just Bum Bum Cream. So it was nice to see a different one. Um, we got Brio Geo again, but a slightly different one. Uh, we've got Bioma, which I've never tried any products from. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, yeah, there was just different products inside. Some So the similarities to last year was like the Charlotte Tilbury palette, the Unseen Sunscreen, um, like the Laura Mercier Primer, um, Augustinus Beta. But they're all slightly different variations of products from that brand. So it's still different products. And I just think it's fab. There's definitely some faves here for me, but there's so many new products that I can try that I just wouldn't pay full price for a product like this if I didn't know I liked it. So for me, this is just a great way to try all the products on Cut Beauty. And yeah, I love it. So yeah, that's always one of my faves on this year. It still is, and it's still available. So, I mean, depending on what the discount is on Black Friday, I may purchase another one. I shouldn't know, it's expensive. Okay, next then we have the MAC Advent Calendar. Now this was the first year for me to get the MAC Advent Calendar, and it's the first just makeup advent calendar that I've ever got. Usually I just get the mixed calendars with hair care, skincare, makeup and stuff. Um, but I just thought this time, I was just gonna get a MAC one. So when it launched, I looked at it and thought, I'm gonna try it. And I'm so glad I did. It's such a gorgeous calendar. The box itself is just so different, really, really unique. And the range of products we got inside was just fab. 
We got, we did get quite a few lip products, but obviously MAC is famous for its MAC lipsticks. Everyone loves a good MAC lipstick. You recognize these MAC lipsticks, don't you? Anywhere, I've got so many of them now. There's like, there's seven on there and those are not from advent calendars. The rest are all in another bag. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really nice. So there was enough products there to do a whole makeup look, which I did in a get ready with me. Um, obviously in calendars, they can't include base products because that's just too tricky. But we had like eye products. We had um, a whole eyeshadow look. There was four different eyeshadows. We then had like the paint pot as well, which was really, really pretty, really nice gold color. We had the mascara, eyeliner, base products as well, like not foundations and stuff, but like your primer, uh, strobe cream. And it was just a really, really nice calendar. Products that everybody could use. And yeah, I'm just so glad I got that one. Very, very happy with it. Um, that one was much cheaper. It was £165, so obviously still expensive. Um, and the, the value was £405. So it's not as much of a saving as the other two advent calendars I've already mentioned. Um, and it was only 24 days as well, but 16 of them were full-sized. Um, so you're still getting your money's worth if you liked MAC or if you want to try MAC. Or, I mean, with any of these advent calendars, you can split them up and make stocking fillers or just smaller Christmas gifts for other people. Um, but yeah, I really like the MAC one and I will be getting it again next year. Um, okay, next we have the Harrods advent calendar. So this was the last one I actually unboxed and there was kind of mixed reviews on this one. Um, I was one of the first ones to buy it, I think. So obviously I buy it before hearing everybody's opinion and then I give you my opinion and then I read all of your opinions in the comments underneath my video. And some people weren't as impressed as I was which is fine, obviously, like I said earlier, if the products aren't for you, they're not for you. But for me, I just felt like, like this time it was just as good as last year. Um, different products, obviously. Again, another very expensive one. This was £250 and the value was um, £1,136. It was only 25 products though. But it said full sizes were 22. Now, I counted them to be about 17 because I think they counted some of the travel sizes as full size because you can buy them in that size. But either way, still for me very good value for money and um, the full sizes in there were just amazing like the Murad retinol night cream that we have we've got some dr barbara stern product uh, one woman skin sunday riley charlotte tilbury it was just really nice um obviously in mine if you've watched my video the conditioner was missing from the shampoo and conditioner duo um i did actually contact them about that the first time i contacted them on chat and they told me to send an email with a picture of the missing item like a photograph so I said, well, I can take a photograph of just a shampoo, but anyway. And then one of you guys actually messaged me on Instagram and said that you were also missing a conditioner and you'd gone on online chat and they gave a partial refund. So I thought, okay, well, instead of writing an email, sending a photo and everything, I'll just go back on chat. So I went back on chat and I just explained the situation again and they said they'd gone off to investigate it and I'd hear via email within 48 hours. And that was three days ago, so... Yeah, I've not heard anything since, so I don't know what they're investigating. But yeah, it's fine, it was just a conditioner. If it was like one of the major products, I'd have been on chat a lot more. I'd have sent the email quicker. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a really nice advent calendar. There is a touch of luxury, obviously. The calendar itself wasn't as good as last year in terms of like the layout, like the box. The box felt much more luxurious last year and obviously every little product came in the little pouch last year, which it didn't this year. Now. For me, I'm not too fussed because last year I was like, well, what am I going to do with the pouches? Like, I have no use for them. So it seems like a bit of a waste of product. But it's just it's just a bit of luxury, isn't it? If you're paying £250, it's nice to get them in a little bag. But yeah, I really like this one. And I think it was worth the wait. So yeah, I like that one. Um, and then finally, in my top five, it has to be Sephora UK. Now, this obviously was meant to be the Feel Unique Advent Calendar. Feel Unique was Feel Unique up until the start of October. So like the 10th of October or something. Um, and then it was taken over by Sephora. So that calendar turns into the Sephora advent calendar. And honestly, amazing. Um, I was doing the content on that calendar today, taking like the photos and clips and stuff. Um, and it, I just remembered how good this calendar was. And I just thought, if that's not on my top five, it needs to be. And it already was on my top five. Um, but yeah, this one was much more affordable. It's £139. Still obviously pricey for a calendar, um, but the 25 products, 17 full sizes, 17 full sizes for £139. That's just insane value. Um, it's worth 711 so when the flannels was 235 worth over 800 this one's like, not half the price, but 
going towards half the price but the value is still quite similar. So yeah, I think the value's there. I think the products inside are fab, really, really nice selection. I absolutely love them. We started off with two huge full sizes on day one. We had like the full size Elemis um, and the full size Pie Cleanser, which was just amazing. But they had just got some really, really good brands in there and like other products that I've just never tried before and now I can try them. But yeah, I really, really like that one. Um, the only thing I wasn't keen on about that one is how big the actual calendar is quite bulky and because it like opens up like quite a thick book it does kind of wobble a little bit so you have to make sure it, like the ribbons are definitely tied when you're picking it up because otherwise it just just slips a bit and I don't really want the back of it to rip but that's me like taking it in and out this room to take content on it but obviously when you've got the calendar yourself you just pop it down in December and don't move. So those are my top five beauty advent calendars for 2022. Now the one that surprised me the most, the calendar that surprised me the most for 2022 was actually pretty little thing. Now this one is one of the more affordable advent calendars and um, this one was £45 and it's worth 141 so the value is definitely not in the same league as these other luxury advent calendars but I think this one because it was only £45 I wasn't expecting wow but I just think that it was it was really good like some of the products inside were very wow and I just didn't expect it to be this good so so it was a nice surprise. Now I think I might have got like 10% discount or something um, when I bought this because I just found a discount code. But yeah, we've got quite a few pretty little thing products in there, which I've never tried before, so I'm excited to try those. And um, we had like the Colorwell well product, we have the uh, Psychic Sisters Gua Sha, we've got Star Skin, we've got Brushworks Clips, and I just thought for £45, that's a really good calendar. I've even been using the makeup sponge already, um, and it's really nice, that's a pretty little thing own brand one as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought that one was really, really good. The brands inside and different products as well. So like we've got Sassy Shop Wax, which is just really different. We've got Star Skin, we've got Peaches and Cream, which I haven't seen anywhere else uh, this year. But yeah, we've also got like Olaplex in it. So yeah, that one is also still available right now. It's £45. Yesterday they had, I think, 10% or 20% off or something. Um, but like at the moment for Pink Friday pending, it's up to 70% off everything and an extra 10% off with the code extra 10. So when you're shopping on websites like this, definitely just check. Um, it's usually just like a band, like right across the top of the screen there. See that pink band across the top of the screen? So that just, that just shows you what the discount code is at the moment. So definitely check that when you are shopping on these websites and save some money if you can. So yeah, that was the one that most surprised me. I think it's selling out quite fast. It says it's 537 being bought today. So if you do want to get that one, I would snap it up pretty quickly. Um, and then finally, the calendar that disappointed me the most. Can we guess what it is? It's Harvey Nicks. So this one, this is the first Harvey Nicks beauty advent calendar and I was excited for it. You know, Harvey Nicks is definitely a luxury store. They always feel like quite luxurious when we're shopping in there. Um, and they've got a huge range of skincare, makeup, everything you can think of. Like I nipped in there the other day uh, when I was shopping with my mum and my sister and like they've got all Augustinus Beta displayed. They've got a massive Fenty beauty counter. So I was just expecting it to be a really, really good calendar. Not just because of those two brands, those are just two examples, but you know what I mean. Like, I was just expecting it to be amazing. And this one was also £250, so the same price as Harrods. Um, and it's worth over 1200 so the highest value. 34 products inside, only 12 full sizes, but then there were so many vouchers. And the vouchers make up some, or quite a lot, of the value. And I just thought that was a bit a bit of a get out because for me, I can get to Harvey Nicks. There's one in Manchester and there's one in Leeds. So I can go and do that, but it would be like a full day out, like to get ready, to travel there, to do the appointment and then come back. And do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's not just, it's not local. But for those of you who buy the advent calendar and then and you're not in the vicinity of a Harvey Nicks store, I just think, well, you're not getting the full value there. So... I don't really think that's fair. I feel like they should maybe do like, you can have a voucher or a product substitute or something, or maybe, I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't include those. Or just don't include them all together and just reduce the value of it. But then can they justify £250 price tag? Probably not. But yeah, so yeah, I was very disappointed with that one. There were still some really good products inside. There were some products that I'm still excited to try. Um, there's obviously the Fenty Beauty products. There's really good brands, um, but there's quite a lot of small products in there as well. And I know they're very expensive products, but when you're shopping in store, those expensive products in those sizes, those little miniatures, you get as freebies. So if you buy something, just ask for some samples. Those are the sizes you get. So I just feel like when you're paying for the calendar and those are the sizes you get in it, I don't know if like 
it's actually worth that. But either way, I feel like because it was the first advent calendar, they could have wowed everyone, hooked everyone in and made everyone buy that one first next year because it was just so amazing last year. But I just feel like they didn't. I feel like they've done the opposite. So I mean, for me next year, it's not gonna be on my list. I will look at it when I see it announced and then make a decision, but it's not one that I'm gonna be like, yes, I need this next year. Whereas Sephora, the first Sephora UK advent calendar, they started with a bang. They came with all the products, all the full sizes, and now next year, I'm gonna be like, yep, I don't care what's in it, I'm getting that one next year because it's gonna be amazing. So I feel like they just went at it the wrong way, but that's just my opinion. So those are my top five beauty advent calendars, the one I'm most surprised by and the one I'm most disappointed by. I mean, the other ones were still really nice. It was very hard to pick five. I really like the Elemis one. I've never had an Elemis one before. The Duo one was definitely interesting. Um, value for money, probably not. But then again, it's the luxury experience. It's not just how much is this tiny perfume worth. It's, it's, it's luxury, isn't it? Like, it's like when you buy in a designer bag. Is that bag really worth £3,000? But you're paying for the designer and the experience and the luxury of it, not just the materials of the bag. So yeah, I think it's just a little bit different, but it was definitely nice to get it. It felt luxurious opening it and I'm, I'm glad I got it. Um, the White Company was still nice if you like the White Company scents, but similar to last year, not, not as wow as others. What else have we got? Kylie Cosmetics. That one for me was expensive because I ordered it when it was in Nordstrom, whereas then it launched later in the UK. So I could have got it cheaper, I could have not paid delivery and not paid taxes on it. But it's just because I ordered it so soon. Um, but that there wasn't a saving in that at all. But if you like Kylie Cosmetics, it's just a nice little set. I'm happy with it. I will use all the products in there. And it's a cute little box, like, I like that. Um, John Lewis, I think that was okay. It couldn't have been that wow because I can't actually think what was inside it other than my broken candle right now. But the customer service with them were amazing. Um, they just refunded me a partial amount for my candle, which was fab. The L Beauty Advent Calendar was really, really good as well. That would probably squeeze in and be my sixth one. Um, Charlotte Tilbury was still good this year. Glossy Box and Look Fantastic was what I expected. Nothing too wow, but still really good calendars, really good value. And yeah, that's all I can think of from the top of my head right now. Um, I've just listed the ones that I can see. Oh, the YSL ones there. YSL, that was really nice as well, but it's one of those worth value for money. That was the one with all the red lipsticks, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot of red lipsticks. If you like red lipsticks, that was really good. But if you don't like red lipsticks, it's definitely not worth it for you. For me, I'll use everything in that calendar. Um, and I think it was really nice, nice luxury unboxing experience. So that is Advent season wrapped up. Um, I'll still be doing some more content using the products from all the calendars. Um, but that is pretty much all the calendars unboxed. If there's any latecomers, then obviously I will still unbox those. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts on the calendars this year. So let me know what you think, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree. Let me know what your favourite calendar is. Let me know what you think is the best value for money advent calendar. What you're most surprised by and which one do you not like this year. Leave all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's all have a chat about these advent calendars. I know a lot of you have been asking which is my favourite calendar this year. So I'm hoping this has helped. But like I said at the start, it's personal preference, isn't it? If you like the product inside, then it's a good one for you. If you don't, then it's not. But yeah, any guys out there looking to buy calendars for the ladies in their lives um, and don't know which ones to get, check out my five there plus the PLT one and um, depending on what your budget is. So that list there ranges from £45 to £250. Yeah, good one in the middle of Sephora. I really like that one. I think that's a good a good choice, good option um, and a lot of products in there. So if you don't know which one to buy, then I probably, I probably recommend that one. But yeah, that is everything for today's video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. Leave all your comments down below and I'll see you soon for another video.